We don't need a building address to find the presence of our God. It's a spiritual place that we have access to once we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we find in Psalm 91.1 that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty. To dwell means to sit down with. It's a place we go to be alone with God, where we rest in God, where we worship God. It's a place where we commune with Him in solitude. When we visit with God in His kingdom, we're not necessarily going to a place with human hands. Mark 14, 58, Jesus speaking, I will destroy the temple made with human hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. Hebrews 9, 11, and 12, Christ came as a high priest who lives in a tabernacle not made with hands, but in a most holy place. This is a place no one can see, according to John 3, 3, unless they've been born again. Romans 14, 17, the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 4.20, the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. 1 Corinthians 15.50, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, but it is a place we are encouraged to go after in Matthew 6.33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Ephesians 2.19-22, since we are now fellow citizens of the household of God, being built upon with Christ Jesus as our cornerstone, we are being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. So when we dwell in the secret place, our spirits are meeting with God, sitting with Him, communing with Him, and resting in Him. Luke eighteen seventeen, Jesus speaking, Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Little children have vivid imaginations and can transport themselves into non-physical worlds in a heartbeat. They have no problem with having faith. We must be equally receptive and sensitive to the hidden world around us. Jesus tells us in Luke 17, 20, while the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, when you see the sick healed, it's a sign the kingdom of God has come near you, Luke 10, 9. Words of encouragement, 1 John 3, 24, whoever keeps God's commands abides or dwells in him and he and he he in him we know this thanks to the holy spirit whom he has given us physical buildings are not necessarily a, the place to have a meeting place with god we must be born again believers in christ have faith like a child and we will have enough to dwell in the secret place just us and god alone have a great have a great day